everyone, I'm Chris here with All Free Crochet. I'm here today to talk about crochet hooks. Why they're different, what each one has in common with the other, why we want to use this one versus that one, and really just all the differences between them. So let me show you my kit and let's get started. Hey friends, so I have gathered up every crochet hook that I have. Actually, I'm lying. This is nowhere near all of my crochet hooks, but this is a wide variety of the different kinds of crochet hooks that I have. And there is a use for all of them. They all have their place. And one of the things that I like is that the different brands have different shapes to their hooks. So like this particular set right here, these are by um, Susan Bates, and these have a uh, hook on them that is flat. You can see here how the yarn will actually get hooked in there. I like using these if I'm using a very smooth yarn, a very fine yarn. Um, if it's a particularly chunky yarn or has nubs on it of any kind, I tend to go for something more like these. These are by Boy, and you can see here the hook is much less pronounced, so it doesn't tend to snag the yarn, so you won't have those snags. So here I can show you the difference between the two up close here. I don't know if you can see that there on the camera. So you can see here the, the hook, um, you know, you've got this slot basically and just a basic hook there. So that's the difference between the boy and the Susan Bates hooks. And then you can see here um, I have this set. This one I actually carry around with me. It has, you can get these in pretty much any brand. They have all the sizes, not all the sizes, but most common sizes. This particular set goes up to a K hook and then it even has some of the steels here which are teeny, teeny, tiny. Um, I don't, I can't even show you the teeniest, tiniest one because it won't show up, but you can see how absolutely tiny this is. These are for when you're making lace, like crochet lace. They're super fine, but they're fun. There's some really great projects you can do with these. So you can see how absolutely tiny that is. It's actually quite sharp. So you go, uh, a good place to start actually, I think, is to get a set with all the sizes. If you're not sure what project you're working on, you're going to have most of your basic sizes in a set like this. And I like that it's in a zippered case so I can just zip it and just throw it in my project bag. Some of the other things I have here are plastic hooks. These are great for kids, actually. I prefer to teach my um, young students on plastic hooks. They're a little easier to manage. And you can see here also we've got the different, the slot versus the hook. These jumbo ones are for your really chunky yarns or if you're holding like two or three strands together. They're made out of plastic usually because they can get quite heavy if they're made of metal. So these are good um, and they're easy to manage and, and I actually use these when I'm demonstrating um, to students a lot because you can really see what's happening. So I, I like these big plastic chunky hooks. These are, um, let's see, this is an S hook and this one I believe is a Q and there's a P and an N here. So those are plastic hooks. And then you can do, if you're really wanting to do something fun, you can actually make handles for your hooks. And these are made with polymer clay. This is one here we've actually done here in the studio before. Um, it's just polymer clay. You wrap it around and bake it according to the pattern and you've got something that's a little more ergonomic to hold. So you got a little bit more weight here at the end so it's easier to hold. They're great if you are one of those crocheters that likes to rotate the hook in your fingers versus using your wrist to grab things. You'll just, you know, rotate. Um, makes things a little smoother for you. So you can see here there's lots of different kinds. Um, here is one of my favorites is a Tunisian crochet hook. It's long because you get a whole Afghan's worth of uh, yarn on here in yarn overs that we will link down below to some Tunisian crochet tutorials for you where I show you how to use this. Um, but this is fun. This one um, has a cap on the end. Some of them have a cable. So if you're doing a really big afghan, those are really fun. Um, I have what here is what's called a nook. And this one is a fun product. It's a crochet hook on one end 
and like a double point needle, knitting needle on the other, and there's a hole here. And it's actually kind of fun. It's a combination knitting crochet process. Um, we'll do a video on this and show you how to use this one soon. So stay tuned for that. And then if you really are wanting to go fancy or give a nice gift to a crocheter in your life, this furls crochet hook, they're hand turned out of some really nice woods. And they come in all different sizes. And you'll see here it's got a nice hook on the end. Um, and they fit, they, they, they rest really nice in your hands here. So, and again, if you're a rotator, you're gonna love these because it's something easy to hold. I actually like it just because it's so thick. I don't tend, my wrist won't get as tired when I'm using these. And then finally, my favorite of all, because I like to work when my friends or my kids are watching movies. This is a crochet light. It is a cro crochet hook that lights up, kind of like a lightsaber. It's pretty cool. We'll uh, shut off the lights to show you, but I don't know, you can kind of see there how it lights up, and it's really neat. It's actually really great, too, if you're older and you're using a dark colored yarn. This will help you see your, your stitches as you're working. Um, there's a little on-off switch. The handle is a little, little more awkward to hold, but because it lights up, it's, it's a lot of fun. I always keep one of these in my kit just because you never know when you're going to need to crochet in the dark. It happens more often than you think. So there you go. These are all of our different crochet hooks that I have in my kit. I hope that was helpful. All right, everybody. So I hope you learned a lot about crochet hooks, why they're different, why you might like one over the other. Leave a comment down below and tell us your favorites. We'd love to hear. And any information you need will be in the description bar down below. And don't forget to give us that thumbs up for all our hard work. We'll see ya.